Hi, hello again. So uh, in the previous tutorial, we are using this um, clip of the steaming hot cup of tea, and it looks like this. And you can see the transition doesn't look very good because it's kind of just jumped to the next uh, clip, and it looks very jarring. And so we want to improve on that, and this is how you do it. So here we have the same video that we were using yesterday, the steaming cup of hot tea by the window. So let's put it in the timeline. And let's put another one next to it. And here you see that the jarring effect uh, when it transition between the two clips. Uh, so to make it better, what you can do is using this slider here. So what this slider does is it actually uh, fades the clip. So let's see if I want to drag this thing here. And you take a look. It would slowly fade from black to the actual scene. You can see that looks like. Uh, so how we want to achieve the transition is we want to put one clip on top of the other. Uh, so we're going to use a slider to put where, just this is an estimate, uh, it doesn't have to be that exact position, but we just want to see what, how it looks like with the transition. So yeah, now it looks kind of very smooth uh, and very seamless. So let's move it slightly, fold it back to see if we can get a better result at that. So here, let's try it again. That looks like very nice actually. So you can see the steam kind of that looks like it's naturally uh, fading out. Um, so so now we want to make this a loop. So you want to make the perfect loop and how you do that is you're going to copy this clip and you're going to put it uh, at the exact same position as you would over here. So, so that's the exact same spot. And now you want to mark the point where it's actually looping. So this will be the first point you put the marker here. Put the slap whoops. Uh, so one thing to keep in mind is you want to not select any of the clip. Like don't have a red border on any of the clip. Click on in the empty space. And when you click on this marker, you have to mark on the timeline. So here is another marker. So in between these two would be the perfect loop of the video. So let's give it a try. Um, so here, now we want to merge this two clip with a new compound clip. So now you have a merge point. And using blade, you can cut the clip. And you can cut it here. And then selecting this two is no longer needed. And so now we have this segment, which will be a, a, a perfect loop. So if you want to copy and paste that one, so you can give it a try. You can see it, it loops perfectly. And that's how you do it.